You can see here that I have all of my areas and channels assigned in the logical view. I'm going to click on the graphical icon from the toolbar. I've previously added my floor plan. From the logical view, simply drag and drop the area onto the plan where it lives. To do this, left click on the area name and drag and drop onto the plan. Then simply draw the area to the size that you need. For Office 2 here, you can see that I have accidentally dropped the area onto an existing area. The software will give me an option to cancel or to change the existing region. When we look at the cloakroom, it is not a perfect rectangle. Simply choose the draw hexagon option from the toolbar before you drag and drop. Again, for reception, I will select Draw Hexagon from the toolbar. For the waiting area, I am going to tidy this up a little. I can right click and select edit region and move the anchor point to a better position. Oh, it looks like for Office 3, I made the area slightly too small. I can correct that by right clicking and selecting Edit Region. I can simply then drag the anchor points out to include the extra lamp. The next step is to assign the fixtures onto the plan in the correct place. You can see if I drag and drop the purple channel icon in the area, Envision Project will give me an error. You will need to open the channel up and drag and drop the orange channel icon. I can drag and drop that onto the correct area onto my plan now. You can see that the lamp is far too big for my plan, so I can right click and select scale to make it a more suitable size. Now I have two lamps that are connected physically in this channel. So I'll need to drag and drop it where the other one is in the floor plan. Drag and drop the same channel from the logical area onto your plan. Once I've resized it once, the lamp will stay that size for the next one. Continue this for all of your channels. In the cloakroom, you can see that the channels aren't connected in a straight line. To keep things neat, I can right click on the line and select add anchor point. Then I can drag it out to make things look neat and tidy. Simply repeat this process for all of your channels. If you make a mistake, right click on the element and either delete it or move it to correct. Good luck.